praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I am talking about something very important. The message says Christ in us. The hope of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your hope Get me. is not in me. Your hope is not in the church. Your hope is not in your husband. Your hope is not in that woman you are looking for. Your hope is not in your boss at the workplace. Your hope is not on the president. Your hope is not on any politician. Your hope as a Christian is right in you. Don't come in. Praise the Lord. Amen. Right inside of you. Your hope is there. Get it here. Your hope. Get me back. Is right in you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Christ in us. Christ in The hope of glory. Get me to you. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead. Now, when we look at the in the Old Testament, we see the pattern of how God works. God used to come and speak through prophets. He could come and speak through judges. He could come and speak through kings. And many people of those days, at some point, he even spoke through a donkey. On many occasions, God used many things to speak. Sometimes his manifestation was on the cloud of God. In the cloud, during the day, during the night, is it a pillar of, of fire? That was the manifestation of God. He could come and just go away. In the human mind, he is a God above. He is a God over there. When he, one point people said, we also want to talk. Why did only you Moses so want to know this God? We want to know this God. We want to meet him face to face. And when God began to manifest, people themselves said, Moses, Moses, you go alone. For us, we cannot dare Read near this God. Praise the Lord. Amen. God could not dwell in man at that point because of sin. Sin has separated man from God. Praise the Lord. Amen. On Christmas, 2000 plus years ago. By the power of God, Isaiah 9, verse 6 was fulfilled. And the word of God says, unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. His name shall be called Mighty God. Wonderful Counselor. The increase of his government there shall be no end. Matthew chapter 1 verse uh, 23 says, Look, a virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son. And they will call him Emmanuel. Which means God with us. <laughs> Now, something changed. At the birth of Jesus, God was no longer a visiting power. He decided to leave the heavenly dwelling place and came down to dwell with us. That was a dispensation of God with us. The time of Emmanuel during Jesus' ministry, he did mighty things. He did things that everybody would be left perplexed. They are thinking, what is this? Praise the Lord. Amen. That was God Amen. But he's made this statement. He said, it is good that I go away. 
I must disappear from among you for your own good. And the word of God says, He left. Praise the Lord. Amen. When he left, he said, Stay here in Jerusalem. And I will send for you the promise. And from Pentecost up to today, something new happened. Unfortunately, many of us don't understand it. Hallelujah. Amen. There was a time of God over there. He would come from the heavens up and hey. talk to people. Now, many of us today are still living as if God is up there. And sometimes they begin to pray and say, Let your presence come down. Let it come down. Come down. Let me tell you, God is not up there. The time for up there has gone. The the God that is far away has gone. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The time for God with us has gone. By the way, you celebrated Christmas two days ago. Amen. Amen. In religion, People were moving door to door. Okay, people used to move door to door. I think because of the corona, they may have not been moving. After Christ is about to be born, where is the gift? They move door to door. They pick beans. They pick whatever gift that you have. Praise the Lord. Amen. Waiting to welcome the Son of God. Now, we are not in that dispensation. Christ came. Christ he did his ministry. And he is long gone. He is right now seated at the, at the hand of the Father. Praise the Lord. Amen. That dispensation is gone. At this time. 50 days. Was it 50 days after, after his, his death? The word of God says, um, when you read Acts 2, 17, Peter quoted uh, the book of Joel. And he said, It has finally come to pass that which was written many years ago. He says that it shall come to pass in the last days, says the Lord, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. It was a new chapter in the arrangement of God. The Holy Spirit came. And the Holy Spirit came and filled the apostles and the disciples at that time. They were 120 in number. The word of God says, when the power of the Holy Spirit came, everything about the disciples and the apostles changed. Peter that used to live in hiding, Peter would denounce Jesus three times. The word of God says, He stood firm on his feet and he proclaimed the power of the gospel. He preached the word in all boldness and power. And 3,000 souls came to the Lord. He was no longer fearful, he was no longer afraid of the Pharisees. He spoke in the hearing of all. Why was he not afraid? Why was he not running away? He had received God himself. And that was the opening of a new chapter. I have come to talk about Christ that is not born. 
Kristo. But I've come to talk about Christ in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor that Christ in you. The hope of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says. When Christ came to dwell in men. This man did not remain the same. I am not meant to remain the same. You should not remain the same. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because inside of you is supernatural power that human being cannot imagine. People cannot understand it. The word of God says, even when they were to kill Peter, he said, I am not worthy to be nailed. I am right like my master. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For my case, you nail me upside down. Where is a man like Peter? Who was so fearful? The church of power. And say, and talk about his death. That my death is not going to be like the one of my master. Me, nail me upside down. And that is how he died. And when Stephen was being stoned, the word of God says no, he gathered the strength from within him and he said Father forgive them for they don't know what they are doing where could that power have come from from above and that same power is inside of you praise the Lord Amen. you are just not the son of your father. You have become a child of God. Born from above. Your family can never define you anymore. Your environment, Uganda, Uganda no a chule no can never define you anymore. You are a citizen of the kingdom. What does it mean? Praise the Lord. Amen. Number one, Amen. we share in the inheritance of Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Someone said, if a child is still a child, people don't tell him that, you know what? All these mansions belong to you. They get their caretakers to take care of those things. They will wait, they will have to wait until the child is 18 years old. That is when the child is entrusted with full responsibility of the inheritance of the family. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many of us have decided to be children. I've decided to be babies in this work of salvation. Some of us are 10 years but you don't know who you are in Christ. When you hear that someone is bewitching me, you become terrified and you yourself and you begin to say, I better go and fetch and get another witch doctor that is stronger than the other one. Now look at that. Now look at that. Now look at that. You don't know who you are. Praise the Lord. Amen. When someone begins to talk heal of you, you begin to talk bad again. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is not us. You are a citizen of the kingdom. There is a higher rim of life. The Lord of God says, God has lifted us up and seated us up in the heavenly places with Christ. With all powers of darkness under our feet. Hallelujah. Amen. Powers of darkness are under your feet. Why are you intimidated by the wicked? Why are you intimidated by the success of the wicked? Praise the Lord. There is a greater inheritance that we have in the kingdom of God compared to the, uh, to the vanity kind of uh, possessions 
that the non-believer says that they have. The Bible says in Romans 8, 17, it says that since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share in his glory, we must also share in his blessings. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have a full inheritance of the kingdom. You are blessed beyond a curse. The Lord has loved you. And his love cannot be compared to anything. It is is above the hatred of men and women around you. Sometimes we begin to say, they hate me so much. Even in that church, they hate me so much. I am going to change the church. No. The love of God. For you, is a is a is beyond the hatred of men. By the way, you have nothing to do with anyone. It is all about God. It is just about God and you. People may ne- never like you. You are none of anyone's business. You belong to Him. No matter what they do, there is nothing that they can do against you and succeed. It is you who gives them the permission to succeed. You give the will doctors permission to torment you. Because you begin to become afraid. You begin to talk heal. You give the enemy in their camp. And the enemy begin to torment you. You are a class above. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are we understanding? What can young mono? Useless word, careless word. You are not like that. That is what you are like. They hate me. They don't love me. Wet no book diggy. Let them reject you. But the love of God for you cannot be compared with the What the Lord has for you is beyond the reproaches of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of the Lord says, but no any weapon form or weapon form even if they, they think they, they are smart, they think they are wise. I am the one who I have met them. I know them. But what I want to tell you is, no we perform at all. Mouth be true, but you can't carry. 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 Mouth be true, but no matter what they throw at me they will come in one way but they are going to scatter in seven because the Lord that I have is bigger than what they throw at me even if they throw what hallelujah Amen. you have an inheritance in the kingdom your inheritance can never be compared with the things of this world. Sometimes we begin to say life in the church is very boring. Young people like to talk about that. That you know what? Life in the church is very boring. I better get an unbeliever and spend the rest of my time with because they are more romantic they are classic the people, the boys in church, they are very boring. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go and ask a non-believer who is practicing prostitution. Who changes men night after night. Find out whether they have peace in them. Find out. I don't know. You, you may hear from them. By the way, they are in our communities. From outside, they will portray a picture that everything is so sweet. Build some relationship 
and builds a relationship and find a little deeper about their life. People are living in hell. Even when you see them still working. Praise the Lord. Amen. Life in the kingdom can never be compared to the life in wickedness. So in, no, uh, in no way should you ever envy the prosperity and the excitement of the wicked. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In Christ, we share in the inheritance. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You may say this is not true. But you see, he said. The things that you see me do, you'll be able to do them and even do beyond what I have done. And it came to pass. Philip was a preacher. The guy preached and preached and preached. And then the spirit just took him, transported him free of church. Spiritual transport. It is only um, in the world there they have limited uh, num, um, transport uh, type or means. But in the, the kingdom, kingdom there is another spiritual means of transport. The guy just preached the gospel and the spirit took him away. Praise the Lord. Amen. Time came for the, the, the boat was rocked up. And things were so hard. But the man of God stood up and said, that you know what? We are not going to die. We may lose everything. But one of you is going to die. Recently, I dreamt that we, I lost uh, the, uh, the, the motorcycle. Was picking I was not understanding, but I prayed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now we are here in church yesterday. We will spend time praying and doing other things. We began to walk back home. The soldiers say, you stand here. Eh? Praise the Lord. Mm. We also stood. They said, where did you come from? From church. <laughs> Where's your Bible? My Bible was there. No Bible He asked my brother there. Where is, where is your Bible? I don't have a Bible. But I have this notebook. Let me see what is written there. He has written about marital counseling. A lot of Bible verses. The police could not do anything. The only thing is to let these people go. Praise the Lord. Amen. If not, the bike would be inside. We spent like 100,000. No, to get it out. Praise the Lord. Amen. In this kingdom, nothing just happens. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are meant to live a connected life. You are connected. Things just don't happen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Things just don't happen. You are connected to E that sees your end even before you begin life. Hallelujah. Amen. God knows your end before even your life begins. Hallelujah. Amen. Why should you be afraid? Why should you be intimidated? Why should you spend your entire life in worries? A lot of worries for here. You bring the other one. Another one. What is killing us it is the ignorance. The word of God said my people die because of the Hallelujah. Of my word. Hallelujah. Amen. You should not put yourself on the lot of worry. My because that Christ that you are is than the Satan with whole Why should you keep it yourself no to the level it of it no no a lot of diseases? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The word of God said um, 
We are the children of his hair. You put it down because of time. Hallelujah. Amen. We are continuing that we have been taken from the kingdom of darkness and now we are in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, darkness Perfum. They are strong. We cannot even find the power. And even you, you are not able. Amen. But the Lord that has loved you before even at the beginning of the world. At the time when you have received the Lord as a Savior, you have been removed from the kingdom of darkness. Who is blood? Because of you and me. Now you are in a new kingdom. The other kingdom. We have conquered them because of Christ. We have conquered them because of Christ. That nothing is going to destroy us. Praise the Lord. Amen. And what the Lord said in First Peter one nine. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A people for His own possession. That you may proclaim the excellencies of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. You are a chosen generation. The Lord has picked you for a purpose. This life, this body that you have, don't think belongs to you. The Lord has chosen it. You are a possession of the kingdom. You belong to the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. How I wish we understand this. The young and the old. Let us understand this. When I got to know this, I, I told I told I told myself. I am not my own. I belong to the Lord. Therefore, this body, I will keep it only. I will never mess it up. You see that one? I have to sign a card that says, True love waits. I will never mess this body with any girl or any woman. Until I wait in the presence of the Lord on the altar of the Lord. That card, I have kept it until today. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it was in 2012 that I got wedded. And that is the time. I was ever waiting for. You don't need to mess this book. It does not belong to you. Amen. Amen. Young people say, like what I go down there. Do you know they say, Pastor, for you, you don't know. Who are you? I am not going to put you on there. They don't know this life that we have. They mess up their life that they have. The corridors. Even in the corridors, they know every the latest fashions. They want to catch up with the world. Who are you? You are a child of God. You don't need to mess this body up. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are no longer people of the kingdom of darkness. We must walk as children of the light. You don't mess your body. You have a purpose to fulfill. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The message has become very strong. Eh? God has called us out. Out of darkness. Why do you behave as, still, as, as if you are still in darkness? You go ahead and do corruption, abuse, fornicate, abort, steal, do nonsense. You are not a person of darkness. You have been called out of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Others are saying, those words are outdated. We live in a current world. What believers today fear most is pregnancy. Fact, the young ones, they put even family planning things. Your husband is not there. The believers put family planning things. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
What the fear most is what? Pregnancy. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know what you are playing with? That body does not belong to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. People speak hell. When they open their mouth to speak. They speak words that destroy. They are bitter. They don't speak life. No, that is not you. You have stooped so low. Your standard is stooped so low. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your standard is beyond that. You are a life giver. You are a blessing in the community. A source of hope. The person that everybody runs to and they they get get relieved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You are like a tree planted by the rivers that bear its fruit in the right in in all seasons. Praise the Lord. You are a blessing to the world. You are a light of the world. Why do we stoop so low? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are no longer a person of darkness. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's go ahead. We are going to go very, very fast. Number three. You are part of God's eternal kingdom. When we fell in sin, we got disconnected from God's eternal purposes for our lives. When you become born again, a new beginning comes. You begin to walk to fulfill the purposes of your existence. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not of this world. Through Christ in us, we are part of the eternal kingdom of God. We are ambassadors of the kingdom. The word of God says, if you give your life to the Lord, there and then, you become a new person. You become a new creation. The old has gone. And the new has come. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we should walk as children of the light. And God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. How we live our life. To be able to draw many to the kingdom. We should reach out to the lost. And share with them the gospel of hope. Praise the Lord. Amen. Other people can say. Other people they can say it. How am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be able to speak up the word of hope? And yet, even my condition alone, I am still sick with a lot of. Yes, the matter is only Christ that we have. Condition, it doesn't matter what the world is having. A man make it only Paul. There's a man, his name is Paul. The word that we are sharing now. The guy was beaten to death. Paul He was carried and thrown behind the fence. The cold of the morning. Woke him up. And the guy stood up. He began to sit there. And he went back to the gospel ground. And preached the gospel. More powerful than the than the than the other day. That is it. This one is nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether you are sick or not, take healing to the sick. You are blind or seeing. Let the, let the, let the blind begin to see. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is how we are. Because Christ in us is the hope of glory. The hope to the world. You don't join the wicked and speak like them. 2021 was Need in 2021, all of us we are going but to die. Oh, no one, no one is going to be there. 2021, is life is not going to be easy. Corona has Now, you don't speak like that. We don't speak like that. Careless words. I used to say. And I still 
Say, we don't die like chicken. That Christmas is coming, let us kill this one. No. You have an assignment to fulfill You have a purpose to live. You just don't die. By the way, you are not created like chicken. Not even like God. Not like any cow. The Bible says, in the book of Psalms, 130. When you read from verse 1 going down and you complete that entire chapter, verse 16, 14, around there says that you were fearfully and wonderfully made. When the Lord was designing you, He designed you perfectly for the purpose he wants you to feel. You are original. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the word of God says, all the days meant for you to live were written in his book before any of them came to life. Before your mother and father thought of having a child, you were in the mind of God. Amen. Amen. That word says, the Lord God, my creator, saw my unformed body. And Jeremiah confirms, when I was still in my mother's womb, the Lord has set me apart for his assignment. Who are you to tell me I am going to die tomorrow? Praise the Lord. Amen. You don't die. And you're not meant to die. By the way, the fact that you don't die doesn't mean people are not going to die. People are going to die. In fact, David said, a thousand can fall dead on your life. A thousand fall dead on your life. But as for you, nothing shall touch you why don't we own up this and become part of us praise the lord amen you must fulfill the purpose for your existence we are not of this kingdom Issues about us is defined by heaven. Not anything. Not coronavirus. Not HIV and AIDS. Not a man coming to marry me. No. No. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. And we should own that. As I summarize, I'm sorry. Um, the Bible says, Colossians 1, I want us to Let's read Colossians 1, the entire chapter. But verse 14 says, Part A, that we have been redeemed. Christ has redeemed us by his precious blood. We belong to that kingdom. Amen. Amen. Finally, in this, uh, the blessings that we have. Our sins have been forgiven. We have been forgiven to forgive others. Finally, I want to implore all of us. Should we just speak about it? Should we just know that Christ in us is greater than the devil? No. We must rise up and walk in that. Praise the Lord. Amen. We must rise up and walk in that. We must rise up and walk with our heads up as ambassadors of the kingdom. Pay what what in the lawyer. Don't just walk like you are the lawyer. You talk careless word with no hope in it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You belong to the kingdom of God. But the problem is that we still define ourselves by the family we come from. By the level of our education. By the amount of money we have. By the connection we have. You have the greatest connection. By the old men can forsake you. They can desert you, including the church. You can be totally forsaken. But when you have a relationship with God, even all that are forsaken, you will come. They will come. 
It is not about any earthly connection. It is not about the level of education. The greatest thing is, you are the child of God. Christ inside of you is everything you need to live successfully in this world. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us begin to put whatever we know into practice. It teach. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What is it that you know? By the way, when I'm speaking to you, I am speaking to myself. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many of us know many things. But we have decided never to do this. We, do we qualify to be fools. If there's a child that speaks the, the real word of God, this is one of it. We speak the real word of God. But day in day out, people don't change. We should graduate from just being church attendants. You become an usher in the church. You come and just sweep and say, I, I've, I've, I've come from the marketplace. I felt I should come and sweep the house. There are cobwebs or what? I, I just. I just felt I should come and do something. That is a level ahead. By By the way, way, yesterday we celebrated Christmas. Christ was not born the other day. Christ was born 2,000 years ago. He went back. And he's coming back. Are you coming back? coming back. He's coming back with a reward. He says, I am coming back soon with my reward in my hands to give to each one of you according to the work that you have done. Are you doing for the kingdom? It is good to be a businesswoman. It is good to be a good employee. But do you know what? We belong to the kingdom. We are meant to be ambassadors of the kingdom. Let us do work that benefit the kingdom as well. Balance up your life. Get time to pray. Get time to read the word of God. Get time to encourage a neighbor. Get time to visit a fellow Christian. Get time to visit your pastor. I'm not saying you come and visit me. You can go and visit anyone. Praise the Lord. Amen. Get time and visit someone in the hospital. Life is not about eating and drinking. Do something of value in this world. That benefits the kingdom of God. Spend time in the place of prayer. To live a successful life. A successful Christian life. We draw the energy. And the strength Keru. on our knees. When you don't pray, you are a powerless Christian. You cannot impact the world. Prayer Lega. was the reason for the success of Jesus' ministry. The Bible says, when it became so real, people began to say, Father, Wara. If possible, take away this cup. But then he said, let it not be my will, but your will. And he continued to pray. At that point, Christ could not face the, the cross. The word of God says, because of prayer, angels came and ministered to He received power to go and face the cross for me and you. Without prayer, a Christian cannot do much. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have talked many words. May the Lord sincerely bless you. As we plan to live our life in a more meaningful way. Amen. 
Amen.